Imagine a humanoid robot that could work to save lives after disasters and avoid more serious consequences. It's not science fiction. Walkman is a project being developed at the Italian Institute of Technology in Genoa. In the future, Walkman could replace humans in dangerous situations. For now, humans are teaching it to move and walk. This robot could one day save your life. In the near future, it should be able to assess dangers, environmental conditions, and then take action to get the job done. The Walkman team is currently working on the robot software to improve its ability to support itself while walking over rough surfaces. You are the chairman of the Walkman project. Can you tell us more about the future of this project? The robot, as you can see, is actually um, a kind of uh, anthropomorphic, so it has a, a number of joints and motions that is actually very equivalent to the human uh, body. You can see the hand it has five fingers, it has a thumb, and it actually can perform, um, uh, it was designed for the purpose to perform very powerful manipulation. So you really look at the human model uh, uh, to, to project this robot? All the objects that we use in our life is actually were designed taking into account the, the, the configuration of the human body. Uh, a robot with a similar kind of configuration would be able to execute similar tasks in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a better way than any other configuration that you can consider. Walkman, developed within a European Union research project, is fitted with a stereo vision system and a rotating 3D laser scanner. Researchers plan to have a human operator take control remotely for advanced problem solving. The robot has already driven a car and can make many human-like movements. The researchers' big technical challenge has been how to control locomotion, balance and manipulation. It has position sensors inside the joints in order to tell uh, what is the position of every joint. Also it needs to have uh, force torque sensors to tell what is the, the force it is receiving from the environment. Can you give us uh, an idea of the power of the robot? This robot is, uh, in terms of power, very similar to a medium-sized car. Every joint of the robot, let's say the knee joint or the, the hip joint, which need to take a lot of, um, to provide a lot of effort, they're similar to the power of um, a 50cc scooter engine. In places that are safe for humans, robots that look and behave like humans could have advantages over robots on wheels. For that reason, researchers from ITT get most of their inspiration directly from nature. Many principles that exist in, in biology give us an inspiration on how, how could we design a robot. Um, one thing is energy saving, especially through devising mechanisms that are back drivable to, to yeah, make use of swing, swing phases in our natural motion. During these phases we do not have to inject energy to actually move the robot. Gravity helps us to move the robot. Uh, we try to integrate this this inspiration in our designs to make robots that are energy efficient, that la can operate way longer than, than robots can, can do this at the moment. The next step for Walkman will be a major test. It's expected to pass at the end of 2017 under the eyes of the Italian Civil Protection Authority. The robot will be sent into a building on fire. Its mission? To search and rescue a human being.